Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel, and I'm on question number three now from the Pure Mathematics P3 October 2021 International A Level Edexcel exam. And this question is here about um, looks like exponential growth, um, something to do with exponentials. It says the total mass of gold g tons extracted from a mine is modeled by this equation g equals 40 minus 30 times e to the power of 1 minus 0 0.05 t, where t is greater than or equal to k, and g is greater than or equal to 0. It says uh, t is the number of years after the 1st of January, 1800. Okay, so this here is representing when you're at 1800, basically. So t is the number of years mm -hmm. after 1800. It says... Um, uh, 1st of January 1800. It says, figure 2 shows a sketch of G against T. Use the equation of the model to answer part A, B, and C. It says, part A1 says, find the value of K. Now, K seems to be here the value of T when G equals 0. Okay, this is when G equals 0. And when that's the time when the G is equal to 0. You can say, see that in this, on, this, on this line, okay, on this particular graph. K is when G equals 0. So what we need to do is we need to substitute T as K and G as 0. Okay, because you can see that's the point on the graph, K0. So if we put that in the equation of the graph, which is the equation is G equals 40 minus 30e to the power of 1 minus 0 0.05t. If I replace the G with 0, and I replace the third, the k with the the t with k. That's going to be a k there, and I solve for k now. Well, I can first of all, I can add thirty e to the power of one minus zero point zero five k to both sides. Then I can divide both sides by thirty, so I have e to the power of one minus zero point zero five k equals forty over thirty, which is four over three. And then I can solve this by taking the lin of both sides. I can say, um, if I take the lin of this side, I'm left with 1 minus 0.05k equals the lin of 4 over 3. And then I can just rearrange this. 1 minus the lin of 4 over 3 equals 0.05k. And then I can divide everything by 0.05k. So I'm left, oh, 0 0.05, sorry, to leave me with k. So I have 1 minus the lin of 4 over 3 divided by 0 0.05, and that will give me my value of k. So I have here 1 minus the lin of 4 over 3. Whoops. 4 over 3. And all of this is divided by no, nope. let me do this again. Let me just do this again, sorry. Put the fraction first. 1 minus the lin of 4 over 3. Okay, and all of this divided by 0 0.05. And that gives me 14.2463. 14.2463 continues on. That's 14.2. And uh, K is in years, so it's years. Okay. All right, so that's the value of K, 14.2. All right. And then it says, hence, so this is part one. This is A, part one. Then it says, hence, find the year and month in which gold started being extracted from the mine. Well, if K is 14.2 years, then it's 14.2 years after 1800. So it's going to be part two. You can say it's going to be 1800 plus K, okay, which is 1800 plus 14.2463. Let's put it in exact form. So if I take this value here and I add 1800 to it, that gives me the year is 1814. So you can say the year is 1814. That's the year. Now the month. To find the month, let me just work out what fraction into this year this is. So if I take away from this 1814, okay, I'm left with 
0 0.24635, 0 0.24635. That's a fraction of the next year. So if I multiply that by 12, I can work out, you know, in which month it's going to be. So I multiply that by 12. That gives me 2.956. So 2.956. So what year is that? What, what month is that going to be? Well, if it was 0 point something, okay, if it was 0 point something, um, um, like if it was like in if, if this this value we got the month we got is zero point something it's going to end up that will be in january if it was one point something it would be in february okay it would be one month had passed went to the next month zero point something we were still in the in the first month basically okay so that would be january one point something would be february so two point something is going to be march so it the 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 year is 1814 and the month is march so there's the answer to part two okay that's a part two now for part uh, b it says find the total mass of gold extracted from the mine up to the first of january 1870. so remember g is the mass extracted from 1800 onwards okay so t basically is the number of years after 1800 after the first of january 1800 so we can say t is going to be 70 years okay so we've got to find g when t is 70 so that's pretty straightforward g equals 40 minus 30 e to the power of 1 minus 0 0.05 times 70. okay that's not too too difficult to deal with so you have 40 minus and you have 30 times e to the power of 1 minus 0 0.05 times 70. Okay, and that should give us the answer, which is 37.537. That's 37.537, which is 37.5. Now, we have to write the units here, tons. Okay, because it says find the mass. It just doesn't just say find the value of G. It says find the total mass. Okay, so that's part B, part 1. Well, that's B, sorry. Now we've got part C. It says there is a limit... To the mass of gold that can be extracted from the mine, state the value of this limit. So we have here the model, the equation. So what we can do here, the simplest way to answer a question like this, if you're even if you, if you're not sure how it works mathematically, it's only one mark. All you really have to do is take a very big number, like for example one million or something like that, and replace t by that number and see what it gives you, and that should give you the actual limit. Okay, so if we take for example, this 40 minus 30 to the power of... In fact, I just had that up there, didn't I? One second. Yeah, so I can just replace that 70 with a really big number. For example, 1 million. So if I do 1 times 10 to the power of 6, that's like a million. So if I press equals here, it should give me the limit that it can get to, which you can see is 40. So we can just, just state 40. Okay, the value of this limit is 40. Okay, so it's 40 tons. Okay, you can just replace a really big number in there and we get the answer. Now, how does that work mathematically? Well, if we just rewrite this equation in terms of 30e to the power of 1 divided by e to the power of 0.05t. Okay, this is what this actually is. When you divide two numbers in index form, you subtract the powers. So that's the origin of this. And that's the same as saying... 40 minus 30 times e over e to the power of 0 0.05 times t. Now, we want to find what the limit of the mass is. So that means the mass that can be extracted. So as t reaches a really big number, we'll say as t approaches infinity, then g approaches 40 minus 30 over e to the power of infinity. Okay, and we know that e to the power of infinity will also approach something infinity. It's going to be something really huge. So that means G will get close to 40 minus 30 over infinity. And 30 over infinity, th like a number over a really huge number, is basically going to approach zero. And if you divide something by a really big number, you're going to end up with a really small number. So as this number denominator gets bigger and bigger, this value approaches zero. So when this approaches zero, G approaches 40 minus 0, which is equal to 40. So that's how you can justify, although you don't have to do that here. All you can do, all you need to do is just write the answer, state the limit, one mark, 
just doing this to make sure will give you the answer. Um, you don't really have to show all these steps, but just for your understanding of why it approaches 40 tons from this model, you can see why hopefully from this little explanation. Okay, so that's the answer to question part, question part C of question three from this paper from P3. Other questions from this paper you would wish to watch may will be found in the playlist that should be placed somewhere over here at the end of the video. You can watch other questions to do with exponentials and logarithms um, from this um, playlist that should appear over here. That's from P3. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link in the middle. Thank you for watching and see you soon.